Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, first of all, we will discuss a property of a regression line. And that is, the regression line always passes Through the point x bar, y bar, that is the mean. First of all, let us discuss the case 1. When x is the independent variable, Now we know that the regression line is also called the least square line. So we can write the equation of the regression line that is the least square line is given as y is equal to mx plus c where m is the slope of the line and c is a constant. Now a normal equation for the least square line is summation y is equal to n c plus m into summation x where m is the number of observations. Now let this be equation number 1 and this be equation number 2. Now dividing both sides of equation number 2 by n, we get summation y over n is equal to c plus m into summation x over n. Now we know that summation y over n is equal to the mean value of y, which is denoted by y bar is equal to c plus m into summation x over n is the mean value of x which is denoted by x bar. So this will be equal to m into x bar. So we are getting the equation as y bar is equal to c plus m into x bar. Now let this be equation number 3. Now this is the equation number 1 and this is the equation number 3. Now subtracting from 1 the least square line or you can write the least regression line is given by y minus y bar is equal to m into x minus x bar the whole that is y minus y bar is equal to b by x into x minus x bar the whole. Where b by x is the regression coefficient of y or x. And this is the regression line of y on x. And this equation shows that the line passes through the point x bar y bar that is the mean. Now let us discuss the second case. 
when y is the independent variable. Now proceeding, as in the case 1, with x and y, we get the regression line as x minus x bar is equal to bxy into y minus y bar the whole, where x bar is the mean value of x, y bar is the mean value of y, and bxy is the regression coefficient of x on y. And this is the regression equation of x on y, which shows that the line passes through the point x bar y bar that is the mean. Now let us discuss the alternative forms of regression equation. Now we can find out the alternative forms of regression equation by finding the deviations of x and y series from their respective arithmetic means. Now let x bar be the arithmetic mean of x series and y bar be the arithmetic mean of y series. Then r that is the correlation coefficient r is equal to summation x y minus summation x into summation y whole upon n whole upon square root of summation x square minus summation x whole square over n the whole into summation y square minus summation y whole square over n the whole. Now r can be written as summation xy minus n into x bar into n into y bar whole upon n whole upon square root of n into summation x square by n minus summation x by n whole square this complete whole into n into summation y square by n minus summation y by n whole square and this complete whole. This implies r is equal to summation xy minus n into x bar y bar whole upon n into sigma x into sigma y because we know that sigma x that is the standard deviation of x is equal to 
square root of summation x square by n minus summation x by n whole square. Now the normal equation for the least square line is summation y is equal to mc plus m into summation x which implies dividing throughout by n it will be summation y over n is equal to c plus m into summation x over n. Now summation y over n is yr is equal to c plus m into x bar which further implies c is equal to y bar minus m into x bar. Now the second normal equation for the least square line is given as summation xy is equal to c into summation x plus m into summation x square. Now putting the value of c in this equation let it be equation x we get summation xy is equal to y bar minus m into x bar the whole into summation x plus m into summation x square and this implies summation xy is equal to y bar into summation x minus m into x bar into summation x plus m into summation x square which further implies summation xy minus y bar into summation x is equal to m into summation x square minus x bar into summation x the whole. This implies m is equal to summation xy minus y bar into summation x whole upon summation x square minus x bar into summation x. Now we know that x bar is equal to summation x over n Therefore, summation x is equal to m into x bar. So, m will be equal to summation xy minus m into x bar into y bar all upon m into summation x square by n minus summation x by n whole square and this whole which is equal to summation xy minus n into x bar into y bar all upon n into sigma x square. That is the value of sigma x is this. Therefore, sigma x square will be equal to summation x square by n minus summation x by n whole square. This can be further written as summation xy minus n into x bar into y bar all upon n into sigma x into sigma y now multiply the numerator with sigma y and multiply the denominator with sigma x now this is the value of the correlation coefficient and here this complete value is r Therefore, m is equal to r into sigma y over sigma x. That is, dyx is equal to r into sigma y over sigma x. As m is equal to dyx, that means this is the regression coefficient of y on x. Therefore, The equation of the regression line 
of y on x is given as y minus y bar is equal to b by x into x minus x bar the whole. That is y minus y bar is equal to r into sigma y over sigma x into x minus x bar the whole. Similarly, we can find the equation of regression. That will be given as x minus x bar is equal to bxy into y minus y bar the whole, where bxy is the regression coefficient of x on y. That is x minus x bar is equal to, and here bxy will be equal to r into sigma x over sigma y into y minus y bar the whole. Now let dx is equal to x minus x bar and dy is equal to y minus y bar with the deviations of the variables x and y respectively from the arithmetic means of the series. Now we have obtained r is equal to summation xy minus n into x bar into y bar 4 upon n into sigma x into sigma y. Now, for the values of dx and dy, r will be equal to summation dx into dy, that is summation of dx into dy, 4 upon n into square root of Summation dx square by n into summation dy square by n which is equal to summation dx into dy all upon square root of summation dx square into summation dy square. Therefore, the regression equations will be y minus y bar is equal to summation dx into dy, that is summation of dx into dy over summation dx square into x minus x bar the whole. Well, this is the value of summation dx into dy and this is the value of summation dx square. And this is the equation of regression line. dyx is equal to summation dx into dy over summation dx square and the other regression equation that is the regression equation of x and y will be given as x minus x bar is equal to summation dx into dy over summation dy square into y minus y bar the whole. Where well, these are the values of summation dx into dy and summation dy square. Where well, the regression coefficient of x and y that is bxy is equal to summation dx into dy over summation dy square. Now we can also find the alternative form of the regression equation by finding the deviations which are taken from the assumed mean. Now if the actual mean is a fraction 
Then we take the deviations from the assumed mean. Now let u is equal to x minus a and v is equal to y minus b where a and b are the assumed means of the two series that is of the x and y series respectively and here u and v are the deviations taken from the assumed mean. Then, the regression coefficient of y on x, that is byx, is equal to r into sigma y over sigma x, which is equal to summation uv minus summation u into summation v over n, whole upon square root of summation u square minus summation u whole square over n into summation v square minus summation v whole square over n into square root of that is the value of sigma y which will be equal to square root of summation v square over n minus summation v by n whole square whole upon now sigma x is equal to square root of summation u square over n minus summation u over n whole square on solving this will give b by x is equal to summation u v minus summation u into summation v over n whole upon summation u square minus summation u whole square by n. Similarly, the regression coefficient of x and y that is bxy will be equal to summation uv minus summation u into summation v by n whole upon summation v square minus summation v whole square by n. Therefore, the equation of regression of y on x is given as y minus y bar is equal to byx into x minus x bar the whole and the equation of regression of x and y is given as x minus x bar is equal to byxy into y minus y bar the whole where this is the value of byx and this is the value of bxy whenever the deviations are taken from the assumed mean. So in this session we have learnt about the property of regression line that is the regression line always passes through the mean and the alternative forms of regression equation. So this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.